everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm the beauty blogger behind brighterdarling.com. But today we're doing something that I can't believe it's this time already. It is what's in my hospital bag. I am currently 37 weeks and one day pregnant. <laughs> so I am ready to have this baby. Okay, well, as ready as I can be, I guess. I have no idea what to expect because this is my first, but um, I wanted to kind of go over the curated packing list of what I'm including after watching months and months of everybody else's videos and getting suggestions and looking at lists for my hospital. So if you want to see what I'm packing, then just continue watching. I love beauty, so I want to kind of go through these two items first. This is like the toiletry pack. So my hospital, the way that they do things, which from what I'm now understanding, it may be a little different than where you are delivering or where you will deliver. Um, they first check you into labor and delivery. And when you get to labor and delivery, you don't want to have your big hospital bag because two reasons. First of all, you might not be able to check into labor and delivery initially. So then you're going to bring all your stuff in there and then they might potentially discharge you saying that you're not ready to be admitted yet and you still have to wait a little while. Um, and then the other reason is labor and delivery is a separate wing from where mom and baby are after you have your baby. So it would kind of just be obnoxious to have to lug all your stuff to mom and baby while you're still in labor and delivery. So they just say, you really don't need anything in labor and delivery. We're going to give you everything you need. You're going to be stripped down to your robe. And that's essentially it. If there was anything that you want it to necessarily have with you in labor and delivery. They say to just keep it in your purse with you when you are when you get there, but nothing like major. Don't pack like a lot of stuff. Um, so my labor and delivery bag is mostly my beauty products. This is what I want to have with me when I first get to the hospital. So here it is. It's got all my like gear packed in here. I can't believe I'm doing this. First of all, guys, you guys, I've packed so efficiently and now I'm unpacking it all, which makes me sad. So. All right, um, in the back pocket of my little bag, I have some protein-based snacks. I have a Cliff Bar and a Lenny and Larry's cookie because obviously when you're in labor, you might be a little snacky. And before you are like, I don't know when, but like I know you can still have snacks before at a certain point. But anyway, even if I don't, my husband can eat these. So I have some snacks. I have a bunch of nursing pads because I don't know I guess I could technically put this in the other bag but I just feel like more comfortable having them I don't know I guess I really couldn't move this but whatever um I have a couple hair ties obviously I mean I usually have a hair tie on my wrist but just in case for some reason we all know hair ties just tend to just go missing very often I brought like one of these like hair tie things and then one of these um spiral ones that I really like. I also have two different types of wipes. I don't know if you guys have tried these yet and I don't think I'm necessarily going to be using these for their intended purposes but these are the Simply by Summer's Eve coconut water cleansing cloths. They're mainly for the lady bit parts. I'm obviously not going to be concerned about my lady bit parts but I really love these just to like give your body a wipe down if you're sweaty or like a little stinky which I'm assuming this is going to happen when I go into labor. I'm going to be a little sweaty and stinky afterwards. And it just kind of refreshes you. And I really love this coconut water scent. It's so mild and very fresh. It doesn't smell sweet. It literally just smells like co natural coconut water. So yeah, I really like these. So I'm going to be bringing these to like wipe myself down if I'm feeling gross. And then of course, staple makeup remover wipes. I mean, I'm assuming that I'm, the chances of me going to the hospital during the daytime hours are pretty high and I usually have makeup on so this is just a way for me to kind of wipe my face down if it's just getting annoying to have makeup on or whatever so um, definitely wanted to bring some makeup remover wipes and then um, also depending on the time of the day I, I just felt more comfortable having my toothbrush and toothpaste with me because I don't know like what if we just I don't know I'd rather just be able to brush my teeth if I needed to and not have this not accessible to me until I'm in mom and baby. So I'm keeping my toothbrush and toothpaste with me. And then I just have a couple little skincare bits here. I have Aquaphor 
this is just multi-purpose. I hear your lips get really chapped when you're in labor and delivery, which can be very irritating and obnoxious. And I just feel like Aquaphor is the best thing when it comes to hydration for the lips and for really anywhere. So if there's anywhere on my face that's just feeling particularly dry, because hospitals can be very drying the air, um, at least I have a little Aquaphor mini with me. I also have um, a little mini native deodorant. I love native deodorant. It's a natural deodorant if you don't know anything about it. Um, they are now selling native at Target, which is awesome. Only in like limited scents, but hey, better than nothing. I think this is actually one of the scents they have at, um, at Target. So yeah, I'm bringing this one. This is in the coconut and vanilla scent. Uh, I also have my Paula's Choice Resist Anti-Aging Eye Gel. This... <laughs> This is again because I feel like my skin might get a little dry in the hospital. Also, this is a nice lightweight gel, so potentially, depending how long I'm in labor and delivery, if I wipe my makeup off, my face will still feel, my face is gonna feel really dry after I take off my makeup or potentially like my makeup wears off. And this is just a really cooling and soothing eye gel. My eyes can get very dry and irritated, so um, I love this. It has a little metal applicator, so I can just like massage it on my eyes. This is just Soap and Glory's Speed Plump All Day Super Moisture Dry Dehydrated Skin Moisturizer. It's just something I've had in my collection. Um, I really love how compact the tube is. It smells very light and fresh, like kind of like watermelon, but it's nice and hydrating and like a moussey texture. So I really like to have this. Um, just for lightweight moisturizer, has no SPF or anything in it, so whatever. And then lastly, you guys probably just saw it. I'm bringing this Paula's Choice Refreshing Moisture Mist. This is just a basic spritz, like a Evian spray water or any kind of like spray water mist. It's nothing, has really nothing in it that's going to make your face any type of way. It's just a refreshing mist, exactly what it says it is. Let's get into the makeup that I'm going to bring. Obviously, I'm not going to have baby without bringing makeup with me. And more than likely, I will be putting on makeup after that baby is born. There's just no way I can see myself the way I am not putting on a little bit of makeup after she's born. So um, the front section of this bag is where I have the little bits of makeup I am bringing. And you guys will probably be pretty impressed. It's not going to be that intense. So I'm only bringing three brushes. I'm bringing this Bobbi Brown Face Blender brush, which I love for pretty much everything. I can use this for powder, bronzer, blush, and blending. Like it's very good at being a multitasker. I am bringing my Sigma E25, which is very similar to a MAC 217, I, I believe. Um, I love this kind of shape of brush because you can blend out crease colors or put on like a light wash of color all over the lid. That's all the only eye makeup brush I'm gonna bring. And then I have like a Kabuki brush from Bare Minerals. This is their core coverage brush for um, Bare Minerals powder that I'm bringing. So, okay, this is, this is the makeup I'm bringing. So I'm bringing the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I like this because I'm sure you've heard many things about this, but this is a full coverage CC cream, which means that it has moisture in it and also your SPF plus a ton of other skincare ingredients in it. I just like it because it's hydrating but not too greasy and it has great coverage. So I feel really comfortable having this as like my one standalone base product to just slap on with my hands after baby's born when people start coming to visit me, which I'm sure that'll be delightful. Um, I'm bringing my Bare Minerals um, original foundation to either wear this or this, but or to set the CC cream with this. Face, also, I'm bringing my Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer. You guys have seen, I think I wore this. I forget what video I wore this recently, but I'm obsessed with this lately. I'm wearing it today. I wear it all the time lately while, I, while I've been pregnant. It's just a very healthy glow bronzer. And then I'm bringing this teeny tiny NARS glue blush that came, I think, with like a birthday collection. It's just a basic pinky plumish mauve, mauve blush with a hint of shine, a hint of gold sheen. But again, it's just a tiny one, so I just wanted to bring something tiny. Um, also, have to bring an eyebrow pencil. That is a non-negotiable for me, and obviously it's going to be my benefit precisely my brow. We know I'm obsessed with this. And then I'm bringing the It Cosmetic Superhero Mascara, Mascara Mini that I got from Lauren from Little Bushing Birdie in our makeup swap video. I will link that 
somewhere here. I love this mascara and I will definitely be buying a full size of this when this guy runs out. And for the lips, another mini. I'm just bringing this Fenty Gloss Balm. Very popular, universally flattering, everyday kind of shade just to give me a little something on the lips and keep things hydrated and moist. So that's my makeup that I'm bringing. Let's get into the toiletries that will be with me in Mom and Baby. So I'm, I packed this one in my suitcase for Mom and Baby. Well, not my suitcase, it's the duffel I'm bringing. I don't even remember what's in here. Now this is much more just toiletry based. And here I have a headband and another hair tie. Again, we don't know what kind of things, what kind of disappearing acts our hair ties tend to do. I'm bringing this dry shampoo from IGK. It's called the First Class Charcoal Detox, Detox Dry Shampoo. It's a very intense dry shampoo. This is something I'm a little, I'm, I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm not somebody who washes her hair every day, but now I am being very conscious about making sure my hair is like essentially labor ready over the next couple weeks because there are times where I will let my hair go for mm, a long time. Like I usually wash my hair twice a week, but sometimes I can push it. And it usually doesn't matter if I'm home, I can wash it whenever. But like if I'm going into labor, like the last thing I'm probably gonna wanna do is be like, oh my gosh, I have to jump in the shower and wash my hair. But um, yeah, but with that being said, I might end up giving birth with really raunchy hair at that point. So, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna wash my hair at the hospital. I'm gonna bring shampoo and conditioner, who knows? But just in case, I have the dry shampoo to save the day. I am bringing minis of my favorite um, shampoo and conditioner, which has been the Moroccan Oil Moisture Repair Conditioner and Shampoo. Love this, very good for dry color treated hair, plus it smells amazing. And I think after I have a baby, I would love to have a little pamper treatment with something from Moroccan oil since I love that fra fragrance. Of course, also brought the Moroccan oil oil because when I do blow dry my hair, since it is color treated, it can be a little dry on the ends. Um, and I'm not planning on bringing like a strainer. I'm just gonna bring a blow dryer. So in order to help smooth things out, I have this little mini of Moroccan oil to do that. And then a hairspray, little mini Sebastian Shaper Plus got at CVS. So just gonna bring that in case I do decide to shower and blow dry my hair, I have those kind of essentials. I have a little mini of the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This removes makeup. I really love cleansing balms because they're not gonna melt all over your bag. And I just find that they're really like comforting to the skin and I don't know, soothing. And then a little mini of my Purity by Philosophy Face Wash. This is like a holy grail for me when I travel because I think it does a really great job at removing any traces of makeup. I'm bringing a razor because again, like the same thing with my hair being dirty. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna have freshly shaved legs or if I'm like on top of like my underarms right now too because again, I don't know when I'm gonna go into labor and like I don't wanna have hair in unwanted places. Um, so just in case I let things got, get a little out of hand before I went into labor, I guess it doesn't really matter after, but um, I am bringing a razor. And then the last thing I have in here are just baby wipes. These are the Huggies Natural Care. I got sent a box, um, like a pack of these with my Amazon baby registry. And I've heard like hit or miss things on the Huggies Natural Care baby wipes. Not that the formula is bad, but that the baby wipe itself shreds easily. So I really am just gonna use these to kind of wipe things down, wipe my body down, wipe my face down, wipe my hands down, like just kind of just refresh. So I know I have the um, Summer's Eve one it's in the other bag, but I don't know. I feel like you can never have enough of these. So I'm bringing them, I'm bringing some of them in a little Ziploc. So now we will get into the actual like clothing items and things like that that I plan on bringing to use with the baby. Here we go. So <laughs> this is this is huge, but this is just the bag I'm bringing. It's covered in dog hair, I don't know why. Um, this is just a pink duffel bag. Obviously nothing fancy. I've had this for honestly the, so much of my life. I got this in college, I think. So it's been around the block. I have some packing cubes. That's how I kind of organized everything here. So that is how we'll go through this. I split this up into, I think, what I'm gonna wear home and what I'm gonna wear in the hospital. I have some nursing bras. These are from, you're gonna see a lot of black, I will warn you right now. I learned that from Alexandra Garza. I love her channel and I love her style and 
I just, I'm such a fangirl of hers. Um, and I really took a lot of suggestions from what she packed in her hospital bag. And um, something that a lot of people I've, I noticed didn't do that I thought was maybe a little silly is like, you're gonna be like bleeding and like bodily fluids are gonna be all over the place. So why not wear mostly black or darker colors while you're in the hospital especially? Because although those like beautiful floral robes and like cute pink pajamas and things like that are very cute and I think you could totally wear them once you're home for a few days, those first couple days in the hospital, I don't want to waste my money on clothing items that might get ruined if I don't have black. So you're going to see a lot of black. So anyway, these are nursing bras from Target. They're by Gillian and O'Malley, I think. Gillian or Gilligan. Gilligan and O'Malley. These are my favorite nursing bras. I've been wearing like nursing bras over the last few months because they're more comfortable. I have some from Motherhood Maternity and they're okay, but these ones, I don't know, there's something about them. They have a built-in pad that you can't remove, which is actually better, guys, because then it's kind of absorbing any leakage without you even having to worry about, oh, you know, I forgot a nursing pad or something. Like, it has a nice little bit of cushion there for that, but yet they're still very comfortable. You can even sleep in these, and these ones are, like, you can do the um, exo, like, the cross strap in the back, or put them just regular style. So um, I'm bringing two of these and two pa uh, two nursing bras. Both of them are Jelly and Molly. I got the nude here and the black. The next thing I'm bringing are these undies. Um, these are by Kindred Kindred Brave Bravely Bravely really. I don't know. I got them on Amazon, but you can get them from their website too. So these are more expensive than your standard like Hanes undies, but. Let me tell you, I bought the Hanes undies at Target that a lot of people recommend, like the basic cotton briefs. I got them in what I thought was my size, which I've got a medium. They are not comfortable. I wore them for like a week to kind of like mold them to my body a little bit. And I found that they were like the waistband really cut into my torso. And like, I get I'm pregnant right now, but like, I just don't want anything cutting into my torso ever, pregnant or not. So, um, and then the materials just felt so cheap. They are cheap. It's like $6 for a pop bag of eight undies, but I don't know. I have them to use them. So I splurged on these. They're a little more money, but let me tell you, they are that very soft, like Modell cotton or Jersey knit cotton. And they're cute. Like, I mean, they're as cute as high-waisted undies can be, right? But they have like the cute lace waistband that a lot of us are comfortable wearing from all different brands. And these I wore for a week and these are very comfortable. So I'm bringing two pairs of these in black. And then I have um, the hospital said, and a lot of people brought from videos I've watched, I don't know why I have dog hair everywhere, um, like socks that have the stickies on them. So these are actually just pure bar socks that I have from used to be, like I used to do pure bar all the time. I do love pure bar. I wish there was a studio near me. Um, but anyway. I didn't go out and buy other sticky socks, I just am using my Pure Bar ones, so I'm bringing two pairs of these. Ironically, I have a pink and a blue. And then I have two pairs of pajamas. So this is from Gap, and uh, again, it's black. It is, v-neck has like cute little lace detail up here. It's a nursing gown, so you can see like it has the snap down straps here to easily access the boobs. Um, and it has obviously a little built-in nursing bra, no padding or anything, so you would need to put on some nursing pads to protect your clothes. But it's just like, it's short, it comes about to the knee. Adjustable straps, again, it's that Modal cotton jersey knit, like bouncy, very soft, comfortable fabric. And then the other one pajama that I'm bringing is a set from Target from again, that Gilligan and O'Malley brand. These are shorts and um, a t like button down. So it's just in this dark blue. This was the darkest color they had. I know I went on that whole tangent about black, but like this was the darkest color they had. And it's just short sleeves, buttons down, so easy to access, again, for nursing. Also, something I read, don't wear or don't bring long sleeve pajamas even if you're having a baby and watching this and you're gonna have your baby in the winter because 
then the doctors can't do your blood pressure or like check your IVs and stuff. Like you want to have your arms accessible because of that reason. That's just a little tip I learned. Um, so again, this is again that very soft kind of material, that cotton jersey knit. So here's the bottoms. They're just shorts, super comfortable, very, very stretchy waistband. And I got these in my normal size, which is a medium. Same thing with the gown. And last is just a basic robe in black. I know, you guys, I think I look probably very depressing. I got this at... This was from 100% a recommendation of Alex Garza. It is the Honeydew brand from Nordstrom. It's a very lightweight, again, that same material, cotton. I know you guys aren't going to really be able to see this, but it's a short gown, I mean a short robe, so it only comes to like right above your right above your knee or mid thigh depending how tall you are but it's lightweight and like i don't want to feel hot in the hospital i bought a thicker plushier robe to have here at home once i'm you know home and with the baby but in the hospital i just i don't like being hot i like feeling cool and i know it's cool in hospitals apparently but i don't want anything that's going to make me like feel I don't know, like I'm wearing all this stuff. There's already going to be enough stuff going on down below. So um, these are a great deal though because they're $38 each or you can get two like different colors for $60. Bucks. I, I am bringing like one of these like hair wrap towels for the hospital if I do want to wash my hair. And then I just got some basic <laughs> black rubber flip flops to wear in the shower. I got these on Amazon for like $4.99 because stupid me, I did not think about this a couple months ago when Old Navy had all of their flip flops in stores for what, like a dollar or two? And they're actually decent quality, I will say. Like they're not, they actually feel better than the Old Navy ones. They're a little more, they have more rubber to them, not as much like foam. So that's that. Now we can get into the, um, what I'm going home in. I am going to wear a lot of darkness. Hmm, surprise. So I'm gonna have these jogger slash PJs from Target. They're from the Zilleration line. They're in a size medium and they're just like jogger style charcoal pajama pants. They're really soft. They have like the cute little tie waistband here and they have this nice wide waistband. So if I potentially have a c-section which hopefully I don't and right now that's not the plan um, but if I do these should be nice and comfortable to go above that incision and not be too um, like constricting on my tummy the top is a black nursing tank this is from Jessica Simpson I like the Jessica Simpson ones the best they are more expensive than a lot of brands but the material, again, is that really soft jersey knit modal feel cotton, and they're, they do run a little bit bigger, so I have smalls in these, and they're a little big on my bust and even my torso, but I don't know, I just feel like you're going to feel more comfortable like that than being like constricted, especially if you're nursing and your boobs are getting bigger. Um, but what I really like about them the most is they're long. Like, there's a lot of nursing tanks that I've gotten that are like shorter shirts and like you're still healing and your tummy is not going to be like flat and like things aren't going to be back to where they were immediately for a little while. So they also have the ability to do like racer back, which can give you a little more support in the boob area and just give the shirt a little different of a look. So again, this is just a plain black one. I will be wearing that with my long cardigan. I got this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. This is from Barefoot Dreams. This is, this was and is pricey. Um, this cardigan was something stupid expensive. However, I got it on the origin sale so I didn't feel as bad, but it is so soft. I, I can't explain this in any video and I never understood why people would rave about these on blogs and YouTube videos, but if you have a Nordstrom by you and they stock Barefoot Dreams, go go touch it and you will understand why people stock up on these or always buy them during the Nordstrom anniversary sale because they're always in the Nordstrom anniversary sale for a good significant amount off. Covers your butt completely. It's very cozy. Like you can take a snooze in this and be totally satisfied with your life. Anyway, that's everything. This video is going to be really long. I hope I can get it to 30 minutes or less, but who knows? So 
I hope you guys found this helpful. If you're having your baby soon, good luck and say a prayer for me because I'm really apprehensive about labor and delivery. So oh, I can't believe it's happening so soon. So anyways, I appreciate you watching my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I usually am doing beauty videos every week, but I do have some of these little pregnancy videos and I do want to incorporate a little bit more mommy stuff now that I'm going to be a mom too. And I'm sure I'm going to be just as passionate about baby as I am about beauty. So I appreciate your support again and thumbs us up and subscribe if you're new. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.